I am aware that in the first episode linked up there of the uh, UTMB training series, I did tell you we were going to keep updating you on Victoria's training because Victoria is also training for a run in Chamonix. She's training for the OCC. So we're going to do that today as well as looking back on week four of UTMB training. Now this week is the final week of training at around 100k a week. So this week we did around 103, 104 kilometers split between Zwift on the treadmill and outdoors. And we did about 54, 53, 54 kilometers on the treadmill and 50k outside. We did one interval session and I raced a park run, but unfortunately I didn't hit my elevation goal for the week because I didn't manage to get a hill session in. In fact, the week started with two pretty lazy days, if I'm honest. Monday was just 10K on Zwift. In the evening, low heart rate, steady running. And then Tuesday, all I did was the film My Run 500 on Zwift. So that's only 4.2 kilometers. It is 500 meters of climbing all the way up, not an interval session, just climbing all the way. But yeah, fairly lazy start to the week on Monday and Tuesday. But I'd finally sorted myself out by Wednesday and we got working. So Wednesday morning, I did 21 kilometers with some elevation on the hills. So some good climbing, some good running and good distance on Wednesday morning. And Wednesday evening, I did my usual interval session on Zwift. It was 600 meters over threshold, 400 meters under threshold. And you can see by my heart rate here how hard I worked during that session. So a paltry 15 kilometers on a Monday and Tuesday was made up for with 20 miles in total on Wednesday. Thursday morning, I was back on the hills of Zwift with a 500 meter climb for the Film My Run 500 with the Noble Pro treadmill. If you want a Noble Pro treadmill, the link is right down there. Get your discount code in the description below. And Thursday evening, rather than 10, I did 13 kilometers on the treadmill with a little bit of progression at the end, just to make it a bit more interesting. So only two double days this week, Wednesday and Thursday were my double days. Friday, well, that was a very easy, standard, low heart rate 10K run on Zwift. By the way, if you're looking at the background thinking, he's going up the same bit all the time. <laughs> I am doing hill reps. It's Monday morning, uh, start of week five for me whilst filming this. And yeah, I'm just doing a little hill session. So up and down the same stretch of uh, concrete. And if you're saying, well, why is he walking up the hills? Well, I'm doing a bit of walk run. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more walking up the hills in Chamonix than I am running. So it makes sense to practice what you're actually going to be doing. So I am walking up some of these hills. Saturday, of course, is park run day. I've been a bit lax in this training block about getting regularly to park run, but I managed this this Saturday. I went to Ifield Mill Pond in Crawley. It's kind of uh, halfway between where I live in Worthing and London. And I raced, even though I'm not fast at the moment, I went as hard as I could on quite a twisty course. So my time is nowhere near my PB. 2050, something like that, 2048, I think, for uh, Ifield Mill Pond Park Run on Saturday. And that left the long run on Sunday. We did 21 kilometers, 13 miles on the hills with some of the guys from my running club and got some good elevation in as well, about 450 meters of elevation gain. So that made it up to 104K, 103, 104K for the week just missing my elevation goal of 2,000 meters. I came in at 1,900 or so meters. So I did two hard efforts in the week, the park run and the Wednesday interval session, but no actual hill interval sessions this week. All my elevation was made up of running on the downs or running straight up on the treadmill. Stick around to the end because I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing for week five of the UTMB training block. But right now we're going to have a little look at what Victoria has been doing over the past four weeks for her training. I do always need to remember how lucky I am because I get to train pretty much whenever I want to. I can go out in the mornings, in the afternoons or the evenings because my work schedule allows for that but Victoria's work schedule is a lot more defined. At the beginning of the training block, Victoria and I agreed she should be looking at around about 60 kilometers 
for the week and around about 1,000 to 1,500 meters of elevation during the week as well. So that was loosely Victoria's training regime for the next eight to 10 weeks. And Victoria's first week got off to a really good start. She did 65 kilometers and a good 1,500 meters or so, I think, of elevation gain with some hill reps thrown in. So that was a great start for Victoria in week one. By the way, if you are enjoying the video, if you're finding it useful or interesting, as always, please do hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, like I said last week, we are a small channel and we are trying to grow. So please do hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Now, of course, Victoria works during the day. She finishes at 2.30 in the afternoon, and that often means that she can get out for a run in the late afternoon or early evening sometime. However, second week, Victoria wasn't feeling well. She did work, but once she'd finished work, she was absolutely shattered and just couldn't make it out. So she didn't manage to get what she wanted for her second week of training. She only hit around 30 kilometers of running and less than 500 meters of elevation gain for week two. So a little bit of a low period for Victoria. But Victoria was back on it again for week number three. She did 55 kilometers or so, I think, and then around 1500 meters, a good 1500 meters of elevation gain with a hill rep session thrown in. So really good to get those hill rep sessions in, climbing up the hill, working the legs, and then working the quads on the way down the hill as well. And week four was pretty decent for Victoria as well. Uh, she did around 50K, 52 kilometers or so last week, and uh, a good 1500 meters once again, another 1500 meters of elevation gain. She did a really good hill session as well uh, last week, seven times up this hill that I'm doing today, seven times up and down. It's around about an 800 meter distance climb and 80 meters elevation for each rep. So she got in around 600 meters of elevation gain on one hill rep session yesterday. So that's really good. You know, any training block is gonna have its ups and downs. So Victoria's training block hasn't gone perfectly, but mine hasn't gone perfectly either. I could have definitely done with a little bit more elevation gain so far. So we're four weeks in. Victoria, as you know, is training for a 56 kilometer run called the OCC in Chamonix and I'm training for the full 100 mile race, over 100 mile UTMB race. But we are also training for the North Downs Way 100 miler, which is part of our Centurion Grand Slam attempt. So it's number three of the four, um, and that's in three weeks time. So we need to make sure that we're on it for that as well. Whilst the North Downs Way isn't our main A race, we do want to finish it. So next week, Victoria and I will both be upping the mileage. So I'm going to go up to 130 or so K for week five. And I think we'll probably try and get Victoria up to around 70 K if we can. I'll definitely be continuing with the interval sessions on a Wednesday. I'll try and race a few more park runs. I think we even have some more West Sussex Fun Run League races to go to as well. I'm going to try and up the elevation gain a little bit, but definitely increasing the mileage this week. If you'd like to watch the video of me coming second in parkrun this week, then uh, just click that link right there. Um, in the comments below, do tell me, how do you manage your running life balance? You know, it's really difficult to fit work with running. How do you do it? Let me know in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could do that now. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the start line next time. Bye guys.